Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. We've got a, a fun uh, interview for you today. We're pleased to be joined by our good friends at Advanced Drainage Systems. We have Darla Hoff. Darla, you are the Agricultural uh, Marketing Manager for ADS, is that correct? Mm -hmm. And we also have Ryan Carter. And Ryan, you are the National Sales Manager on the Ag side for ADS? Yep, absolutely. Okay, well, Pleasure Advanced, to be here. Advanced Drainage Systems, tell us about the company, guys. So advanced drainage systems, uh, known in the market as ADS, uh, we're a water management solutions company. We were founded in 1966, actually got our start in agriculture. Uh, we revolutionized a uh, basically the farm drainage industry that was heavily uh, clay tile, uh, cement tile, very labor intensive. And we bought, brought an innovative uh, product into the market, which was four inch uh, HDPE corrugated plastic tubing. Uh, which really enhanced the speed and efficiency uh, of our drainage systems throughout the throughout the U.S. Um, so if we fast forward through the years, we we continued to grow and evolve as a as an organization as a company, uh, and really kind of morphed into the the largest uh, water management solutions company in the in the world and in and definitely in the U.S. Um, and we have a full line of products now, full portfolio of storm sewer products, uh, engineered retention, detention, uh, storm sewer um, products. And then we have water quality um, and uh, a, a plethora of other, other options. Uh, we went public actually in 2014, and then we continue to uh, to expand and to, to really get better uh, as we, we managed our precious resource, which is water. Uh, and so our, our slogan has become, you know, our reason is water. Uh, mm -hmm. Everything we do when we wake up and go into the office, it's about how we can be better stewards of our environment and, and better stewards of water. So uh, we, we look to capture, convey and treat and then release uh, storm water throughout the, throughout the country. So, and our products that we're engineering and developing uh, are within that, that vein. Uh, so that's ADS in a nutshell. Okay. Very interesting. A very dynamic company. I've, it's, I've been uh, interested to follow from afar. Thanks for the kind of the, the look under the hood there, Ryan. Now I, I got to ask you guys, gosh, uh, late 2020, early 21 here. Uh, it, it, you tell me if I'm wrong here, but the, the demand for the, uh, on the, con, on the drainage side with, with farmers, I mean, the contractors must be just incredibly busy these days, I would imagine. Absolutely. Um, we've seen tremendous growth as a company in general um, we, with the prevent plant acres that we saw um, last year, uh, obviously helping with that piece, but um, pin up demand for whether or not they could get <clears throat> things in, into the ground at the right time during the season. But also farmers are really starting to see the benefits that tiling is bringing to their land. We have not had one farmer, um, you know, put tile on the ground and then not see the benefit from an ROI perspective. And so as they start to see that more and more, as they continue to try to do more with less, more with less land um, in a quicker amount of time, obviously whatever tool they can pull out of that box is gonna be advantageous. And drain tile is absolutely one of those. Um, we've seen about a 57% growth rate over the past couple of years. So it's definitely, definitely booming. Wow. Yeah, that, it's interesting you mentioned ROI. Darrell, that's when I hear ADS, that's, I think of another three letter acro you know, acronym, <laughs> ADS ROI. I mean, it just, um, that has to be at the fore of conversations with, uh, I guess, existing customers, I would think. Um, and then uh, people thinking about doing projects. Uh, I, am I right that ROI is top of mind? Absolutely. So that's that's the number one driver in in this demand that we're seeing. So Darla mentioned the you know we have to do more with with less acres. Uh, our our top customers that we see year over year, uh, the reason that's driving their buying behavior and in these installation patterns are strictly ROI. Uh, one of the we we say internally and even throughout the drainage industry, one of the biggest. Um, tools that we use in our toolbox is the invention of the the yield monitor because mm -hmm. uh, when we were able to capture that that yield um, data that showed the the variance in uh, the areas where we managed our water and where we didn't uh, and to be able to pencil that out but ROI is 100% the driving factor behind the drainage demand that we see across the country uh, because 
water, either too much of it or not enough of it, is the number one uh, contributor to to yield loss. Uh, and if we look at our our indemnity payments for crop insurance, so what what is crop insurance paying out on? It's either too much water or not enough water, and that usually accounts for about eighty five percent of the the total payouts. And so as we manage that that precious resource, as we mentioned, uh, there is a tremendous tremendous amount of ROI um, associated with it. Mm-hmm. All right. With with as busy as as you guys are, that fifty seven percent growth, Darla, you were talking about. How how is ADS managing the demand at this point? Given the you know we've all read about the you know the shipping issues we've you know worldwide this last few months here. Just how is ADS navigating these 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 waters, so to speak? There's a lot of dynamics in the market right now. Um, Everyone in the pipe industry is aware that there is a tightening in the resin supply market worldwide. So, and we're not, you know, we're not immune to that by any um, way, shape or form. So um, what we've been doing last year, ADS invested about $80 million in expansion from a capacity perspective. And we plan to invest another hundred million this year. So we see the demand coming. We don't see it going anywhere. And, as a leader in this market, um, we definitely want to be leading, leading our competitors, leading our customers down that path of understanding that the advantages that drainage brings to water management are here to stay. And we don't see anything happening except for this continuing to increase. So investing heavily in the present and in the future, um, that's, uh, yeah, you're investing in farmers' futures too. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. Now, uh, Ryan, what would you say in this current environment as busy as much demand as there is for for water management projects to farmers thinking about, um, gosh, maybe I'd like to look at a project on my land here. I mean, what what do you guys advise farmers in in terms of timelines and planning out projects? So this year, more than ever in the past, planning and and taking a a position. Uh, So if you know you're going to be doing a a land improvement project, uh, get with your uh, your pipe supplier, get with your your contractor, get that design, get that order in the system, and then get that that project on the book, so to speak. Um, and then this shouldn't be anything outside of the norm. Uh, right now in, in the agriculture community, fertilizer stocks are low and hydrus was uh, really, really tight on supply. Um, you know, our overall trucking um, moving some of our product around. We have a fleet internally uh, of over 800 uh, tractor trailer combinations. So we're kind of insulated there, but we still rely heavily on uh, some of our um, outside carriers, which that that industry is very tight. Um, so there, there's all these factors that are kind of just pinching that supply chain just a little bit. Um, and, and overall demand is extremely high. So if you have a project for the spring, the summer, or even this fall, get with your contractor, get it designed, get it on the books and actually get it visible to your tile supplier because um, the more lead time that you can give, the better off you're going to be. Um, not that there's going to, don't want to put a scare out there that there's any shortage, but uh, Darla mentioned 57% growth, uh, you know, over the past couple of years with the commodity prices and the favorable tailwinds we have, uh, there there's going to be some capital for land improvement and, there's going to be many, many growers across the country that are having the same mindset. So uh, take a position early, get the project on the books and, and get it out. So plan, plan and plan. <laughs> that, that's pretty interesting, Ryan. You're actually, as you were describing the truth there, uh, what you're experiencing, it made me think of, I've only done this twice in my career reporting on the farm equipment market, but uh, the current conditions are dictating that if you want a piece of equipment, you might want to buy it now because of the mm-hmm. newer use because it's going to get tougher. Um, but now you guys tell me if I'm right here. I'm hearing through a little birdie that um, you guys, ADS, have done some pretty cool things to help your contractors in these in these days when it's availability and, and things are tough. Um, what What is ADS doing to support those contractors you're working with to help them on a, on a day-to-day basis? So we've got multiple technologies that we're either working on or that have already come out into the market. Um, but the most recent one being our pin drop location piece. Um, send, sending in a pin drop to with, with your order is allowing our the drivers to drop the pipe exactly where 
um, the contractor needs it and wants it, which is allowing them to be obviously more efficient. Our goal in general is to make, if we're efficient, then our contractors can be efficient. So as we're doing this capacity expansion, as we're doing these improvements, as we've seen this demand come, leading the market, we want to make sure that we're able to provide them everything that they need from order entry to um, pipe delivery. So the the pin drop exp the pin drop communication piece is just part of that messaging that we're putting out. Um, they're all aware of the ag drainage calculator that we have um, out there. We've we've got the our some of our newer products in 12 Plex is allowing them to um, install those install mains a lot quicker than they would be if they were using um, sticks. Um, so just a number of things that we are internally doing um, or working on that will be coming in the future to make their lives a lot easier. So here again, ADS investing, investing, pushing <laughs> forward, forward. Emily, yeah. I like it. Well, uh, how about let's pivot guys. Let's talk about, you know, obviously a hot button issue these days, um, sustainability, conservation. Just curious uh, with, with you guys leading worldwide position um, in the market here, water management. How do you guys view the issue? Uh, where are we at right now and where are we, where are we going? And, and, and what is ADS doing along these fronts to, uh, to address sustainability and conservation? This is actually one of my favorite topics because um, the one thing we don't want to happen in the market is we don't want farmers to get regulated from a water management perspective. So enabling, because that's going to make everyone's life harder um, across the board. And so enabling our contractors and our farmers to understand the benefits of um, sustainability, recycling, things like that. Um, you know, ADS this past year became the second largest recycler in North America, which, you know, we were number five, but right, we were number five, but moving to number two as a pipe company is pretty impressive. Um, in, in my opinion, I've been with the company coming on three years and I would have never known that about ADS in general. Um, a lot of people don't know it takes 59% less water to produce recycled pipe than it does to produce virgin. Um, we produce virgin, we have virgin products, we have recycled products, but um, they're held to the same exact standards and we're able to do something for the environment and, and go move towards that conservation message that we know farmers being stewards of their land, we have to be stewards of the product, right? And so we know that um, this is a topic that has been kind of teeter-tottering in the farming community, um, but it, each year it seems to get more and more um, support across the board. And so as long as we're doing everything that we can to put our contractors and our farmers in the best position possible as we move through this, I think everybody, everything will work out well. Mm. How about your take on, on, on that, Ryan, on the on sustainability conservation where ADS is helping the industry along here? So it's a continued hot topic um, amongst our, our growers, amongst our contractors. Um, we want to be good stewards of the land and the environment, uh, and it continues to be a, a focal point of ours. And I uh, mentioned earlier that we had a rebranding, uh, and our, our new slogan as a company has been uh, updated to our reason is water. Uh, so we, we are focused every single day on, on being good stewards of our environment and good stewards of, of water. Um, it, it's something that it's a very sensitive topic. Um, there are a lot of different, uh, takes on it, but we, we continue to, to help with our industry partners, um, or our involvement in H2 Ohio and trying to promote those activities, the four R's right place, right time, right rate. Um, you know, it's, it's really about driving knowledge. Um, and, the, uh, you know, the, the continued outlook there is, you know, we have to be good stewards of the environment. We have to take our, our position as a leader in the industry and, and, and do our part. And the number one thing is to make sure that we, you know, farmers, they, they want to cultivate something to pass on to the next generation. Uh, and that's what we want to do as a company as well, because, you know, everything that you see from ADS now is about, you know, capturing that, that water treating or conveying it, treating it and releasing it and releasing it uh, in, a, in a clean, environmentally stable way. Uh, and that's, can, and just to kind of wrap that up, I know I kind of went the long way around there, but um, it, it's a very hot button. It's a hot topic. Um, you know, Des Moines with the, the Great Lake, um, basically algae blooms, uh, there's a lot of focus on that and we have to do our part. Uh, and growers across the country have to do their part and realize that, you know, that our practices that we um, utilize on a, on a daily basis, you know, can affect the, the long-term 
um, sustainability of our of our ecosystems. So, um, you know, that's a that's a continued continued uh, you know topic that we're going to continue to to invest in as well, um, because it is vitally important to our our success as an industry and as a, as a company. That's really interesting to hear you guys, you know, talk about the growth of the company. And I'm just I'm curious, you're at such a, a fulcrum point, fulcrum point of agriculture's growth here. What what lights you guys up about what you're doing, what ADS is doing for agriculture and helping farmers? I mean, you I'm guessing you must see you're changing farmers' operations, changing them for generations, and then also the focus, like you were saying, Darla, on conservation. It, it has to be kind of fun and exciting what you guys are doing and, and advancing here every day. Can you talk about that? Yeah, so I, it's it's a great point for you to make. Um, it's one of those things that because I'm in it, I'm, I'm, we're sitting in the middle of it, we see the advantages, but not everybody understands it or does. And when you sit back and you see – when we're not just talking about drainage, we're talking about water management. And and I think there's like, you know, drainage can get a negative connotation. And so moving to that thought of managing that water, not just getting rid of it, um, water recycling, uh, using coming back through the pipe for subsurface irrigation, pulling from this, maybe the same water that you pulled off. There are so many opportunities um, in this product line um, that I don't necessarily know that the industry has thought completely about. And that part is what is exciting me because we have, we have a lot of, I don't want to say things up our sleeve, but um, we have a lot of things that we're looking at for the agriculture community that could do exactly what you're saying. It could change the way that we farm today. And in a good way, it, it could benefit not only the environment, not only our company, but also the farmer's ROI. That is the, what does a farmer want? They want higher yields. They want to make be able to make more money. They want to be able to pass along the farm. And we have the products that to enable them to do that if we install these systems. And, you know, they're never... They, you know, it's 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 something that is going to continually pay back year over year, and the improvement will continue to be seen. Right. Hey, we got the dog, but we have to have a dog bark in every Zoom interview. That's great. I'm glad I, we got. I have to help you. Lola <laughs> is his dog, and every time Ryan and I are on the phone, every time she barks, and it is oh. my favorite part of the day. So she, I'm, we, I have two schnauzers here, so they haven't barked yet, but they might. So Ryan, uh, what lights you up? about, uh, you know, ADS, your position in the market uh, and gets you excited on a daily basis? So to be honest with you, it's just, uh, you know, it's no different than an agronomist or anybody else going out and and interacting with the farm community. But uh, it's the fact that you get to work side by side with land improvement contractors and growers and help them, you know, increase their yields um, to produce more food and, and more supply worldwide. Um, just the, the fact that, you know, I, I know going to bed at night that, you know, I'm going to get up in the morning and I'm going to help, um, you know, help solve a problem that somebody has that, you know, that the last 10 or 15 years that they've, they've harvested that field that they just know that, Hey, that, that corner over there is, you know, they usually have a four letter word for it, but, um, you know, that's the bad part of the ground or bad part of the farm. And, um, you know, it creates value for them. It creates value for, for generations. Um, the other part of it is we take great pride in our, um, being vertically integrated and, and being a, uh, you know, really an industry leader in, in the recycling community. And Darla mentioned earlier that ADS is the second largest recycler uh, in the nation. And, you know, for being a pipe manufacturer, um, we, we have a, you know, a really good knack for being good stewards from our environment, from the recycling um, point of view. And then we also have a really good, um, you know, we have a completely integrated fleet company and, and knowing that we're part of something that, uh, you know, our, our business model is going out and say, how can we make the world better? How can we make our customers more profitable and how do we make their lives easier and more efficient? And, um, that's what, that's what kind of drives me. That's what gives me that, uh, that warm and fuzzy, so to speak. And, uh, you know, that's, Darla's got a, a saying that, you know, farming is really, you know, faith, family, uh, faith, family, and farming, and, you know, that's, you know, being in that community and being part of that, uh, that just overall inclusive uh, environment. So that's that's what drives me. I just uh, I I get a lot of joy out of that. Oh, well, that's exciting. It, um, yeah, and again, I just a, a thank you and a hats off 
from the farm community back for what ADS, you guys are investing in, in farming, agriculture, and, and our culture and recycling. That's uh, you're, you're a good corporate steward there. That's uh, great to hear. Now, I'll just, we'll wrap this up, guys. I just want to, I'm curious uh, what your take would be with ADS there, you know, such a leading company here with the, the future of water management on the farm. I mean, it sounds like ADS is investing heavily in this. You're not sitting back waiting, but just curious your take on the future, what, what we're going to see coming down the pike here. So when you say in the future, you mean from ADS or just in general for water management? You take whichever direction you want to take it, Darla. <laughs> so somebody said something to me um, that I'd never really considered. And they, they said, you know, water is a nutrient. And when you think about that, when you think about the other nutrients that farmers are putting into their crop, you think about nutrients we put into our body. We don't have enough water in our bodies right now to survive without putting more in it. Crops are the same way. Um, so whenever, if, if, a, if a person can look at water and look at their, as you look at your crop, look at water as a nutrient and then understand how you're going to manage that nutrient, just like you're going to manage anything else that you're adding to, um, you know, adding to your farm, it, it, it can give you a different perspective of how you want to look at it, you know, for the years to come. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have areas of the country, California, that go into water rationing, depending on how much, if they're going through a drought year. Um, and so being able to recycle water, being able to manage the water in those types of scenarios, for example, is going to do nothing but, you know, benefit the farm to make tough years a lot easier type of thing. So, and a lot of people don't know this and, and why we say it, but, you know, drainage even helps in a drought year. Um, it was one of the one of the things that had me scratching my head when Ryan first educated me on that when I joined the company. So um, I, I just I don't really find if it's done correctly, if it's managed correctly, there's nowhere to go. You know, there's nowhere to go. But up. there's so many opportunities for everybody involved as we move forward. How about you, Ryan? What, what's your take on the future of, the, of uh, water management and ADS uh, place in the in the puzzle here? Yep. So I, I echo Darla's. Uh, statements there. Uh, and then, you know, earlier in the interview, we talked about that, you know, either lack of water or too much water. So um, when when we call, you know, when we say water management or drainage water management, you know, we, we always focus in on taking water off the field. So, um, you know, there's going to be a continued focus. Uh, we actually had a meeting earlier this week that we talked about that, you know, the kind of the, I'll say, you know, what's kind of being talked about in the industry on the next steps is, you know, water recycling. How do we keep water, you know, captured on the farm, keep it there and then recirculate it in either through uh, overhead pivot irrigation or pumping it back in through uh, irrigation lines across the field. But, um, you know, water is a precious resource and we're, we're going to continue to uh, that's going to be the focal point. That's going to be the direction. It's it's not only draining water off in a in a you know sustainable way, but it's capturing and reusing. Um, and Darla alluded to California on the shortages. Um, you know, it's continuing to about the conservation of water. Um, you know, out west there's big irrigation ducts that we lose forty percent of our um, that water that's being transmitted through evaporate through evaporation. Uh, when we use overhead irrigation, if we don't have the right nozzles on there, that mist, we have a lot of um, a lot of water loss. Uh, same thing for flood irrigation. Uh, there, there's more uh, efficient ways of utilizing and capturing that that water to, to have it being used as a nutrient, as Darla was alluding to. Um, so keep it in the root zone, keep it in the, uh, the proper placement so you can you know, basically drive yields. And and that's what it's it's gonna kind of morph into is, you know, how do we continue to manage this resource to a, a, a basically a level that we can drive yields because, you know, urban sprawl is continuing, population continues to grow, the demand on the supply chain for food is gonna, gonna continue to grow. So we have to do more with every single acre. Uh, and that's gonna be the focus. Mm, I love it. Uh, and what was that? That slogan you mentioned before, again, Ryan, uh, ADS slogan about water. Our reason is water. Our reason is water. I love it, guys. Uh, again, uh, Darla, Darla Huff and Ryan Carter, thank you for, for giving us the update on advanced drainage system, uh, ADS, what you guys are doing. And again, thank you from the A community back to you guys individually and as a company, what you're doing to help us here again. And to me, ADS equals ROI. 
So there you go. Now, if people, for more information, uh, your website is adspipe.com. Is that correct, guys? That's correct. Okay. And uh, good good places on there. I assume folks can click and, and get in contact with uh, um, if they're thinking about projects and such. For sure. And we are in the middle. I have to say it. We're in the middle of a... Um, a, a website update. So there will be different versions that they may see depending on when they join, when, when they uh, okay. try to go to the website, but you can always find somebody to reach out to. Well, adspipe.com, check it out folks. And again, Darla and Ryan, thank you so much for the conversation. Thank you. Right. Thank you.